On this week's episode of the Crushing Debt Podcast, most ridiculous pandemic purchases. So welcome back to this week's episode of the Crushing Debt Podcast. My name is Sean Yesner, owner and founder of Yesner Law, and I've got with me again your co-host, your financial coach, George Curbelo. Welcome, George. Hey, Sean. As you can tell, um, I've got a great singing voice this week, uh, but no, I'm doing good, feeling well, uh, helping people. Uh, I, I got to say... Um, was screaming a little bit too much, you know, using my my vocals and your, your outside voice. My outside voice was being used with uh, with certain events and watching football. So it was it was a great weekend overall, but it was a uh, uh, obviously I don't use the voice that well, so that's kind you, of where we're at today. You can tell the listeners where you were because believe it or not, I've got a story about it myself. There you go. So I uh, first time going with my daughter to a kind of like a WWE. Uh, NXT live event here in Largo, Florida. Uh, and my daughter's got recently got into wrestling. She's like, Oh, let's go, let's go check it out. I was like, it wasn't a lot of money, thank God. Uh, but it was it was a great little event. You know, again, if you're yelling, you're kind of enjoying the matches itself. It was like two and a half hours. Um, and of course, you know, when we talk about uh, you know, wasting spending money today, you know, that was that was one of those things you had to get a t shirt, of course, you know, right. do all that kind of stuff. But it was so much fun. Uh, we had a great time going. Dude, I, I love wrestling. I absolutely love WWE wrestling, all that stuff. I mean, when I was in law school, that was the height of the Monday Night Wars. Yep. So WWE versus WCW yep, yep. and and NWO and, and D-Generation X and, and all those guys <laughs> got me through law school. We actually set up two TVs. Uh, in our apartment and that way on Monday night we could have Raw on wow. one TV we could have That's Monday dedicated. night Nitro on yep. the other yep. college football Saturdays we'd have two games yep. on yep. Um, NFL Sundays we'd yep. have two yep. games mm -hmm. on so um, yeah we actually had a fantasy wrestling league <laughs> Oh my goodness! And so, and it was you got you got a certain number of points for winning a match. You got a certain number of points for winning a a, a belt, or when your wrestler yeah, when the wrestler, <laughs> wrestler yeah, yeah. won a belt. You got a certain number of points for you got less points if you won by DQ. You got more points if you won a belt. Ah, you you lost points if you lost you know your wrestler right, lost right. square. And so we had this whole thing. I drafted at the time this unknown wrestler named Bill Goldberg. Oh, nice. <laughs> and that was right Talk about undefeated streak. He went on an undefeated streak, <laughs> won every belt there was to win. I won the league because of it. Of course. Because no one knew who he was, and I was like, I'll draft this yeah, Jewish was, wrestler guy. <laughs> this guy might be able to do something. Oh, that's so, great. Yeah. Well, there you go. Wrestling I, I, got me through law school. I got to say, you did it old school, too, because a lot of times it's, you know, I, I told my daughter, it's like, it's so easy nowadays. You got on demand. You could see it later. You don't have to even watch it the, the day it's released. You don't even have to watch it with commercials and stuff. Like, we yeah. had to endure all that all that stuff growing up. So, you kids, you whippersnappers you didn't kids. know how to how good you have it today. We we subscribed all the pay-per-views. We got all the pay-per-views. We watched them all on Sunday nights. It was it was and we had one TV with the pay-per-view and one TV with, with the, the Sunday game. night game mm -hmm. on and oh, it was awesome. So, um but you know, speaking of, so we've got our Cub Scout camp out. Actually, by the time this episode comes out, we've all we You're will have done. already finished. Yeah. And so I went on to Amazon because we needed to get, I wanted to get walkie talkies to communicate with my son because even though it's an enclosed um, campsite and he'll be with the other campers and there's no real risk of getting lost or anything like that, I still want a way to communicate with him. Yeah. So jumped onto Amazon, bought him some, bought us a pair of walkie talkies and also bought um, a, a pump to blow up the air mattress. Oh, please smart. Battery powered. Nice, very smart. So now, there is electricity at these campouts. Okay. So, you, so you can plug your pump into the wall and, and blow up your your mattress. Then you got to walk it back to your tent and right. plug in it. So I've said, forget it. I'll buy a battery-powered one. And if for some reason the batteries are running out of juice or they're not strong enough, then I can, I can plug it into the wall. But kind of interesting in terms of today's topic of some of the weird purchases what which... do we what do we waste our money on is is got to be the thing itself obviously when there's a hurricane or pandemics or any of those kind of things i feel like uh we get into crazy mode you yeah. know where we waste we wait and waste our money on stuff and again what does it mean to waste you know we talk about like we could have fun with this today but what does it mean to waste your our money when it comes to these types of spending itself what's that mean to you buddy i think to me it just means spending money on stuff 
you're never going to use or stuff yeah. that's going to spoil before you use it. So, you know, we talk about in the pandemic, uh, people went nuts and bought toilet paper and paper towels. And I get it. And it was annoying. But paper towels and toilet paper don't go bad. Yeah. So some of these purchases on some of these lists that we dug up on the Internet, if the stuff's going to go bad, then to me, it's a waste. If right. you buy a vat of mayonnaise at, at the at, you know Costco or Sam's, you're never going to use it all in time. True. And I, I agree with you there. It's, you know, buying something that, you know, is unnecessary, not important at the time. But we get into those panic modes. Don't we think it's important? You know, like. Uh, but I just never understood toilet paper. You know, like, are we like that panicky that we just our bowels are, are, are uncontrollable? I, I never got the, the there was a run on there was a run on toilet paper. There's always a run on water. Yep. Um. There's a run on ice, which if anyone needs it, I've got the recipe for ice. <laughs> if, if anyone's interested, you send me it. send me five bucks. I'll send you the recipe for <laughs> Or go go plunk five bucks in uh, Patreon, Patreon and I'll and I'll send you the recipe That's for hilarious. ice. Um, you know, so some of the stuff I get, but some of the some of the runs, the bread, people went on a run on bread. I mean, you're never going to eat that many sandwiches. Yeah. I, I love a good sandwich. Sandwich with me for lunch today, but you're never going to eat that many yeah, sandwiches. You got to be careful on those kind of. But I, I think again, I think. Our impulse buys, they get get a control of us in those situations. And I think that's what that's what kind of kind of drives some of these these types of purchases. Yeah. So we did find I did find a list on the internet, our most ridiculous pandemic purchases and what we did with them. And so I'm not gonna go through uh all of them, but uh let's see. I, I got a fifty pound bag of King Arthur flour, two five point five gallon cambro containers and scoops from a restaurant supply shop and it's the best thing i ever done it ends up costing me only about 50 cents a pound whereas a five pound bag can cost double that and since i go through about 25 pounds of flour every six weeks it's been well worth it okay but 25 pounds of flour that's a lot especially if, uh, i'm assuming you have space to put it somewhere you yeah know, you have to put it somewhere where it's not moist you know where it's not a lot of humidity or anything like that so there's a lot of factors that play into it I guess if you, you know, okay, I buy it, it's it's there. But you're right, I, I don't know, I think it, over time something good would grow on it. Uh, or, so <laughs> here's what happened to me, um, although this is one of the stories on the internet, but, but this is what I was going to bring up with buying that much flour at a time. This person says, I ordered 100 pounds of flour from a wholesale bakery supply company. We actually do bake a lot, so even without okay. the pandemic-related shortages, I probably would have gone through it all eventually, but by midsummer. I discovered that the flour was completely infested with these nasty little mites who had happily infested all my other dry goods. They were even in the baking soda. We Ooh. dumped so many pounds of flour, rice, and spices. That makes sense. I mean, if you're not putting it away in a container or somewhere that's sealed, I sealed it in a in a ziplock sealed, bag. Well, maybe then that means it might have been it might have been somewhere in there. <laughs> Again, not to get nasty now, but you might have eggs. Might have been something that already was there, and obviously, even if you sealed it, it was already growing. And oh, oh, oh okay, nasty. Yeah. All right, now, now we're good. I'll buy, I'll buy my one pound. We'll get it done, and I don't have to think about eggs. <laughs> so, <laughs> I panic bought two massive 102 ounce cans of green beans from Costco as part of a $421 stock up on March 2nd, 2020. 20. Also included in this embarrassing order, 15 pounds of pasta, 9 pounds of nuts, Jeez. 13 pounds of crushed tomatoes, and 3.5 pounds of prunes. I guess that's why you would need the toilet paper. Yeah, for all I, think, I think, I think uh, wow. I mean, it's just like you're ready for the zombie apocalypse uh, at that point. It's like, geez. I, like, I don't think I've ever... Dude, I mean, that's, that's a lot of money wasted. <laughs> it's like, what is that? So... I justified the green beans to my wife by saying I thought she'd be glad that I included some vegetables in my apocalypse <laughs> planning. We never touched the green beans and we donated them during a holiday food drive. Wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. But that's, again, thank you for the donation. But once again, wasted money. You're never going to, you're never going to get that back. And so just like, why, why impulse at that point? Um, on March 24, 2020, I bought a gallon jug of Elmer's glue for $14.98, delusionally thinking I was going to become some sort of craft planning preschool teacher. It has not been opened. I should probably donate it to an actual preschool. Jeez. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Nice, nice impulse. 
We thought we were going to be, uh, you know, doing our school teaching things. Okay, makes sense. I ordered the hugest box of baby wipes I'd ever seen. The baby is now 22 months, and we're still making our way through. Good thing we won't be potty training for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Although I will say, and, and I'm sure you remember this from having babies, you we we got tons of diapers. Yeah. We still ran out. Yeah, I would agree. I think there's anything dealing with babies and stuff like that, I don't think you can never have enough of those types of things. So, yep. <clears throat> Uh, I, this is, these drive me crazy. I was desperate to treat myself last summer. So I dropped nearly 60 bucks on the sunny life kiddie pool. I sat in it and listened to a podcast, maybe three or four times. Hopefully it was crushing that podcast. It was podcast. crushing that, I think. Yep. Uh, but it takes a lot of lung power to inflate and it's collecting dust in the garage now. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mine. So my wife always says, let's buy the slip and slide. Let's buy the blow yeah. up pool. Let's buy this. But the kids use it once. Yeah. It's and true. then it doesn't collect dust. It collects that moldy, like moldy. mildew, yeah. green, black. Because yeah, you got to let it air out, dry out and stuff. And usually we don't have the patience when we're putting it away. It's like, okay, it's time to just put it away and, and you know we'll use it again next week yeah six months later with toilet paper and brutally short supply during early pandemic times and bidets back ordered and selling for a premium we bought a handheld squeeze travel bidet as a backup <laughs> it's designed for pregnant and postpartum people you can spritz a pretty aggressive stream of water by squeezing it luckily the travel bidet itself was never needed but we keep it around in case paper supplies ever run short in again. case in case again this is us having the box of cables that we'll never we'll never get to again it's it's like guys we got it we got to stop with the impulse buying it, it, this is this is wow this is amazing I bought a beginning embroidery kit because I was sure I'd have the time to learn a new skill I have yet to unzip the thing. <laughs> Hey, the, it's the thought that counts. Um, so that was there. There's some others on here, and I'll put a link to this article. There's some funny stuff on here about what uh, people bought during the pandemic. Um, I mean, I got uh, shopping. Let me let, let's give you this. It, other ways of wasting our money when it comes to like day to day and stuff like that. Would I say to you, what, if I tell you shopping at a convenience store, is that a waste of money? Again, because that's. That's one of the things that have been as a factor. You go to a convenience store. Um, why would it be a waste of money in, in those instances? I, the only thing that I can think is if you if it takes up space unnecessarily, if you don't really need it or want it or mm -hmm. could ever use it, or if it's something that's going to spoil. Yeah. I, I look at it, too, as like going to the convenience store. Think about going to the – it's marked up. Mm -hmm. You know, they're more expensive than your traditional, hey, I'm going to go – uh, and just buy, you know, six pack of something or any of those kind of things. There's a reason why it's, it can be anything that's marked as convenient. You're overpaying for it. You're already you're already paying more yeah. for it kind of in that sense. So coffee's one instance. But I mean, you know, soda or juices, you know, you're, you're going to get more. Obviously, if you go to compare to like a Costco or, or, you know, your BJ's kind of thing. Yeah. Although we do. We look for the buy one, get one special. Of course. We look for the. It, the ones that drive me crazy, the ones I still haven't really, I bought once because we were having a party, but every once in a while at the grocery store, it's like buy two, get one free or buy three, get one free yeah. of like the big uh, 12 packs of, of sodas. And so I bought one once because we were having a party and so we needed sodas for mixers. But other than that, I, I don't know. I mean, I guess me and my kids would go through and I'm talking, I, you know, I buy the the sugar-free, yeah. um, you know, artificial sweetener sodas, which I know probably not yeah, as good for have, you anyway. You'll, you'll get some fan hate mail on I, that one I too. know. But but we probably drink, I don't know, one or two of them a day. I mean, we don't drink a ton of the sodas. We drink one or two with, with dinner or whatever. Right. Probably drink more on a Saturday or Sunday when I'm home more often. Sure. But even then, it's going to take me a week and a half, two weeks to go through a 12-pack. Right. So to buy two, get one free, or buy three, get one free, it's a month worth of soda. And a part of it is just I don't want to fill up the fridge with it. Yeah, and that's the other thing, too. you got to be careful. But soda, obviously, you know, juices, certain things like that, that takes – the shelf life is a little longer. Yeah. So I think there, there's opportunities. But, I, I mean, it makes sense when you're buying those when you have a family, a big family, you know, six, seven people in the household. Um, that, that Again, uh, it's not that we, we're saying, you know, like – 
don't take advantage of some of these sales or, or that inf opportunities. Just look at your household and see if that's something that makes sense in, in those purchases. So the next couple of lists I found were <laughs> all strange things you can buy on Amazon. And the more I looked, the more it got. So one list was 27. Yeah, of course. One, the first list was 21. The second list was 27. The third list was 50. Okay. I mean, I guess the I number mean, of things. There's a lot of stuff out there. There's that's a crazy. lot of things on Amazon. Yep. I got an Amazon gift catalog yesterday in the mail. That's new. Like for Christmas ordering. That's like new. Amazon sent me a gift catalog. Wow. Okay. Thing. I, I mean, I Target still does that. I get that. Some of the big name ch stores, but okay. I didn't From think Target. Amazon, that, that's, that's interesting. Well, so I guess here to go along with last week's episode, here's some interesting stocking stuffers. <laughs> um, mini hand squirrel. So basically it's the hands, the, the arms and legs. <laughs> One go the leg. One leg goes on your pinky. One leg goes on your thumb. One hand goes on your ring finger. One hand goes on your pointer finger, and the head goes on your uh, middle finger. Right. And it's a squirrel. Yeah, that's a, hand it's like puppet. a hand puppet, and that's it's it's actually disturbing. When it you see it is it. disturbing. So we'll have to link to the show notes on the uh, on the article because you'll, you'll laugh at some of those. This one was fun. The baguette pillow. <laughs> So it's literally what you're seeing. It's a huge pillow that looks like bread. Bread. And this girl, wow. that's, this girl that's holding it must be what she's, four or five. She's hungry. Something like that. And the, and the pillow is as big as she is. <laughs> I Ay want yay. it. I want it. Rubber chicken purse. E, no. You're not going to get that for your wife. No, your wife I, wouldn't enjoy a good I, rubber I believe, chicken purse. I believe uh, you'll have a referral partner with a divorce lawyer if that happens. <laughs> Here's one that my wife would probably get for me. <laughs> the the toilet timer. Oh geez. It's it's a uh it's an hourglass timer with a picture of someone sitting on the don't on stay the john. too long that there's there's a, a lot of health implications there. Zen kitty litter box. <laughs> uh, well, I've always wanted to know why the cats have so much fun, but yeah, that that that's one way to, to look at it. And along the same lines, cat butt tissue holder. <laughs> oh. So the tissues come out of It's ugly. It's sort of like that. It's ugly. Yeah. And, and why? Uh, why would you do that? Toast shaped night lamp. Because if I think night light, I, I think, think toast. I yeah. think toast. Isn't that though like one of the signs that you're having a stroke or something? You know, like if you smell toast. Or... <laughs> uh, no, I don't. I don't think that's a good idea either. Burrito blanket. That one's actually not too too bad. Uh, although it looks it's burnt. ugly. It is ugly. It looks ugly, though. But, you know, like, so this weekend when we're going out camping, it's going to be in the high 50s, low 60s yeah, at night. I might want to nice. might want to roll up like a burrito. There you go. I think you can get free shipping with your Prime uh, membership. Uh, pet butler serving vest for animals. <laughs> there you go. I, I got to understand if, like, Super Bowl, that makes sense. That's the first thing is, like, you know, get the wings. But imagine if the dog lies to the side, lies the wrong way, walks the wrong way. That food is everywhere. Oh, it's everywhere. So, so not a good idea. Here's one that I didn't think was such a strange purchase. Live insects. Uh-huh. And, and what the, do you need live insects well, for? I don't need live insects. Mm -hmm. But I know people that have, um, you know, different types of snakes or lizards or fish or whatever so i guess it would be a way to get a food source I guess. without no going i mean to the pet no, store totally makes sense um how do they deliver live insects i, I have no idea but the fact that they can i guess they they know the rules they can get away with here's one that I, corgi butt accessories so you don't get it I, well i get what corgi butt but it's basically it's slippers it is slippers in the shape of a corgi butt yeah, that's you know if you're a huge fan of corgis, I guess. I mean, I have I have slippers, so this doesn't seem that outlandish. It's just the but it's uh, the corgi butt. You, I, you're I, not you don't understand like corgi owners will only understand what that accessory means I to guess. them. Here's my one of my favorites, <laughs> the pooping pooches calendar. Uh, you have to see it to believe it. I and assume yes, it's, it's 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 just as bad as he's describing it. Twelve months of don't do it. No. Now here's one Tiffany might like our our friend Tiffany Kellogg. Pizza socks in a pizza box. I only well, we know what she's getting for Christmas. Well, she collects socks, so I think she would love pizza socks in a pizza box. Wow. Uh, fish flip flops. Horrible. They look horrible. Mullet headband. Again, I, I no. I could never pull off a headband. It uh, makes it or makes a mullet. No, I did have a mullet back in the day, but I could never pull off a headband or a mullet. 
Uh, that's um, good. Here's another list. Um, 27 head-scratchingly weird things available for purchase. Now, some of them are the same, but uh, a Meow Bucks apron. Basically, instead of a Starbucks apron, uh, an apron that you can put on your cat. We we actually make purchases like this, and that's got to be... Here's the one that I want. You want this. Okay. A, a salt shooter. Have you seen Have you seen these things? I've not seen this thing. So basically, you load table salt into it. Okay. And I think it's a pump action, and it shoots salt at flies and you know whatever other bugs and i guess it it shoots it out with enough pressure that the salt isn't going to hurt me or you but it's going to kill the bug but that means you have to be really good at aiming i don't think so i think it's more of a shotgun blast really i think fascinating okay i, w- I would okay. love to get one one day I, I would say we would need to uh have this purchase i mean in florida and with out. mosquitoes and oh, flies everywhere. and there's all sorts of bugs that are around here, so you will not have uh, enough variety to shoot at. Uh, so at first I was going to skip over this one, but maybe a variety pack of soda for anyone who just really needs to know what buffalo wing-flavored pop tastes oh, like. And so some of the stuff here, they have bacon soda. No. Sweet corn soda. No, thank you. Pumpkin pie soda. Still keep going. You don't want you don't you don't get not, into the pumpkin flavor this time of year? Not even close, buddy. Well, ranch dressing soda. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Why do we? Why do we? The thing is, they keep making these things because somebody people keeps keep buying, buying them. It. Don't um, do it, people. Peanut butter and jelly soda. Oh, that's got to be awful. <laughs> that's got to be awful, man. Uh, Here's another. I guess finger puppets are big. I, I guess it was a, a trio of opossum finger puppets. <laughs> I, ugly. It's ugly. Whatever. This is the one that that made me keep this list. So at first it says a metal tin with a pair of instant undies in case of emergencies. <laughs> and I'm thinking, okay, I get it. I get it. But but the way that it shows in the video you that you turn people. these into undies, you drop them into water. You drop them I mean it's instant it's instant pair of underwear. So then in you, case of emergencies. So then you're wearing wet underwear. But at least yeah, that's kind of weird. Okay, yeah. Clean right. underwear, but wet underwear. That's what I was like, but mm. but it's wet underwear. Okay, okay. You know, you, uh, you make a good, that's a good point now. Now I'm thinking about it. I'm like, okay, in case of emergencies, but you're right, it's still wet underwear. So, yeah. I mean, okay. I get the concept. I like having underwear in case of an emergency, but, but it's got to be water. wet in order to put it on. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Uh, a set of human face stress balls. So you can get some aggression out without hurting any actual faces in the process. <laughs> Good idea. This was one of the best ones. A Shrek toothpaste cap, which at first doesn't seem so bad, except Shrek is facing the toothpaste tube. <laughs> And so the toothpaste is coming out of is where rearranged. the tissues came out of yeah. with the cat. Ay ay ay. So yeah, I would still say it's it's a funny video. Get check out the website, but um, yeah, n- not cool. This was the one that I hope my kids never see: a, <laughs> a clear shower curtain with pockets, so you can multitask on mornings when you're running late for work. Now, I don't know what this particular woman is doing. It looks like she's more posing for yeah, the cameras. I think, I think it's more of like, you know, catching catching uh, some 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 but, likes out there. But it's funny. The, fo- the photo has four different devices that she's actually using. And uh, like either they're having maybe she's watching, you know, wrestling and Sunday night football. Maybe and that's what she's catching in, in, in there. But and recording herself <laughs> and watching the live stream. Uh, OK, yeah, just way too much information in that photo. But here's another Corgi butt slippers. Here they are again. They're pretty uh, Corgi butt bottle opener. I guess Corgi owners corgi like owners their love spending money on stuff about their Corgi. So, I... yeah, that makes sense. Here's the fish uh, sandals again. The fish flip flops again. Do They're ugly. Uh, um, a puking cat gravy boat. <laughs> so it's the gravy boat, but it pours out of the, what would be the cat's he's just, mouth. Yeah, he's just throwing up. Um, yeah. I gotta say that is funny because I have cats and I hate it when they're you know when they're you know doing hairball removal. Um, so yeah, it, it's it's a funny sight. Uh, but once again, why waste your money? Don't do it. Well, here's one that would help with that: 
a pack of six giant catnip joints for your cat. Oh, my cats will do. Yeah, we, we got got to roll up and help uh, them out. Another one for the cat, and I've seen this one before. A giant tongue. So you put it in your mouth, and it's a giant tongue <laughs> that you then lick the no. cat with this giant tongue. No, thank you. Would it be I'm good? Uh, the infectious disease coloring book. <laughs> So when you have COVID, you can color in oh what it is goodness. that you forget COVID. You're like, here's Ebola. <laughs> let's let's get through the 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 trying to no guys, don't 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 give them money. Like uh, why why are these things existing? Is beyond me. A shrimp shaped neck pillow. Okay, I like shrimp. Okay, yeah. I don't so think that I like that, it that much, but okay. that was actually number twenty seven. So wow. Yes. So let, let's 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 kind of understand all this. Um, we we definitely have opportunities to waste money uh, and buy things. We do live in society today that is of abundance. Um, how do we eliminate this impulse buying, Sean, um, in order to make sure that these kind of items don't actually get show, you know show up in an Amazon box? I think you know the way that we've always talked about that kind of stuff. So. Take a break, you know. Put it in the put it in the out uh, the uh, your shopping cart. Check out, yep. And then let it sit overnight for twenty four hours. I mean, you know, I said I bought I bought the uh, walkie talkies and I bought the uh, the battery powered pump. Um, but I literally, I not literally, but I probably spent two three days. I went online one day and I looked at all the various options and yeah. I read all the reviews. Mm -hmm. And I looked for the one that that had a good review that was on sale that yeah. was kind of a cheaper option. Of course, you know, with the um, with the with the with the air pump, um, you know, they had for the same price it was a corded air pump or a battery powered air pump with a corded option. Oh, that's nice. Okay. And they were the same price. Good. Yeah. So there I got go. the battery powered one because they were the same price. It was and even if the battery powered one had been three, four, five, ten dollars more. I probably would have bought it for the convenience of, you know, if I happen to park or set up camp far away from where there's power, right. I still have the battery operated to blow up. Just got to bring uh, it with you. Right. And, uh, well, but other than that, yeah, it's a, it's a, again, you're giving yourself the option of just wireless. You know, you're able to, you don't have to connect. You could just you know, connect your little device. Right. Everything's pumped up while everybody's waiting online to, just, you know, to plug in and, and do, do it on, you know, somewhere else. What do you think? How would you avoid some of these purchases? I would agree with you. I think a lot of times it's more of, for me, it's stop and stop and think. Is it something that I actually need? Uh, it always comes back to impulse buys come to I'm feeling something or I want I want something. But got to look at the big picture. You know, what, what am I looking at? Um, do I really need it? How is this going to set me back? I always look at it as what is, how is this going to set me back? Again, I'm buying, getting, getting into our home, right? These are the moments where I've got to double take and go, do I really need this? Is oh. this going to make getting I, into the house harder? I know exactly what the housewarming gift is going to be. <laughs> Corgi butt slippers. Corgi butts. No, it's good. It's got to be the cut. The cat with the tissue coming out his butt. That's that's good. One perfect. for one for you, one for your there wife. You <laughs> I love it, but yeah, I, I think it's be patient um, and really just content. You know, like, well, do I really need it at this point? That's what I. That's what I would focus on. Um, the one uh, who's the uh, who's the here's your sign guy, um, Bill Engvall. Yep. Um, does a bit where he talks about something that he found not on Amazon, but back in the day where you you'd go on the airplane. And they had the Sky Mall yeah, magazine. Yeah, yeah, of course. And he does this bit about um, about uh, slippers with headlights. <laughs> I so want to get slippers still, with headlights. That's not bad. I would I, love I, to I, find. That's, actually, that's not. But hey, no, 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 no impulse buying right I'm now. I'm not going to impulse buy, but I do want to see if it's available. <clears throat> I can't so he's actually looking. Amazon.com <sighs> slippers wow. with. Here they are, slippers with headlights. It's, it's, it is actually a thing. Uh, there they are right there. Oh, it's disturbing. Bubble slides for men and women. Only 12 bucks. They're probably not that bright. No, but you can get them in all kinds of colors. There you go. There you go. That's important. Star Wars slippers. Oh, we're in. Mario Brothers slippers. As long as they can uh, make the sound of the lightsaber, I'm in. This was weird. One of the options was slippers with headlights for adults. 
<laughs> versus kids. So here's what these are, what these look like. They're they're um they look like Crocs. I don't think they are that brand, but right. they look like Crocs. And then instead of the little things that you can put in the holes, it's lights. Yeah, you have Did the you? lights itself. That so that's attached, what it looks so. like. Uh, <sighs> here's uh, Bigfoot slippers. See this. See how easy it is to go down the rabbit hole. Cow oh. slippers. Oh, guys, don't, d- take take advice from Sean. Don't 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 look up stuff like this. No corgi butt slippers yet, though. Thank goodness. That's oh, a good well. thing. That's yeah. a good thing. Um, so anyway, I, I, th- I would say uh, stay away from you know the shopping cart altogether. <laughs> Thanks, I appreciate it. I've hit my limit on on Amazon purchases. I think you're, with the, you're good uh, for the year. You've okay. got some bigger goals to, to hit this year but, for but, you and the family. I'll get I'll get one of you corgi butt slippers. I'll get the other headlight slippers. I like that. it. I appreciate that. We're yeah. we're gonna have a backyard, so I need to make sure I got a you know where where's the poop. There you go for the dog. So I think that'll do it. I, I, I would hope. I would hope so. Episode. There, Sean. I think. I think. I've, I think we've crashed and burned for this week on wasting. I don't think we wasted money. I think we wasted time now. <laughs> well, I apologize to our sponsor, Sam Cohen of Attorneys First Insurance. Um, he. It, he is not a waste of money. No, he, never. He is actually the opposite. He is a very good use of money. If you're a title company or attorney that needs to look at malpractice or, or E&O insurance, errors and omissions insurance, uh, he will give you an apples to apples comparison. He won't hard sell you. Uh, and he can even help you if you've had an oopsie and, and had a claim maybe in the past. Uh, we also want to mention all the social media channels. We want to mention our, our Patreon page. Definitely also not a bad purchase would be to support us support on us. on Patreon. We've got a couple of other, uh, the last editor that we thought we had kind of fell through, so we've got some other leads on some other editors we're still working on, but we appreciate you listening while we are working on that. Uh, other than that. It's a great, I would say it was a great uh, episode. We'll have some fun, learn some stuff, and we'll, uh, we'll do this again. We'll do this again next time. Next time, next week, next... Next time, next channel, next, uh, uh, whatever, however the saying goes. So uh, hopefully you stay away from those Amazon purchases so that you have more money at the end of the month rather than month at the end of the money. And we will talk to you in next week's episode of the Crushing Debt Podcast.